a retired, middle-aged and out-of-shape hardcore porn actor named Milos, struggling to financially provide for his wife and child, is encouraged to join an enigmatic production for a large sum of money, but is left in the dark over the production's details. As the filming goes underway, Milos begins to recognise that he has committed to a film that is more extreme than he was prepared for. This is Sergin Spasharovic's A Serbian Film, a horror film known for its graphic violence, gory special effects and controversial representation of sex with minors. A Serbian film is likely one of the most, if not the most, controversial film of the 2010s and has been banned or released heavily cut in numerous countries. Despite the restrictions to access the film uncut, it still manages to divide audiences, some celebrating the film's extreme content as an artistic endeavour, while others view the film as gratuitous success for the sake of excess. In the UK, a Serbian film was pulled from the Frightfest Film Festival lineup due to Westminster Council deciding the film could not be shown in its uncut form. The British Board of Film Classification, often abbreviated to the BBFC, asked that a full four minutes of the film be removed before a Serbian film could be classified with an 18 rating. With any film that garners such an intense controversy, many viewers are bound to be drawn to a Serbian film. But is there artistic merit to a Serbian film, or is it simply shock value. In an interview with IndieWire, director Serjan Spasojevic elaborates on the intention of writing such an intense screenplay, stating that, We just wanted to express our deepest and honest feelings towards our region, and also the world in general, a world that is sugar-coated in political correctness, but also very rotten under that facade, with a movie style we liked. Of course, there is a kind of political and social level to the film, but I didn't want to make any kind of political statement. I'm not running for president. I didn't want to express my political choices, but it was inevitable because in Serbia a big part of our lives is about politics. In Serbia the biggest stars on television are politicians. It also looks like pornography. It's about power, influence and all of those things. The last few decades of war have left a political and social nightmare here in Serbia, so all those things are just combined. It was accumulating inside of us. It's all about about expressing some recessed emotions about our region and the world also. If you scratch the perfect surface of society in today's world, you will of course find bad things down there. Spasojevic suggests that a Serbian film is about exploring a repressed sense of emotions that are a reaction against political correctness in Serbia and the status of celebrity given to politicians, equating the power and influence of politicians to pornography, likely extreme pornography where power play and control can play a significant role, similar to the depictions of pornography found within a Serbian film. When viewing a Serbian film's criticism of Serbia's relationship with its politicians, elements such as the extremity of the hardcore pornography and snuff within the film could be acknowledged as exaggerated reflections on the exploitative nature of politicians and power. Are Milos's actions reflective of a politician in a position of power forced into a decision they wish not to make, similar to Milos's reluctance to violently hit a woman's face who is giving him fellatio. Is the film's violence so excessive as a reaction against the sensitivity of the world? The suggestion that the director expresses that a Serbian film is a criticism of the nature of political correctness and politics is one that many viewers may find understandable. Tonally, a Serbian film is an angry, misanthropic piece, offering nothing resembling hope. Once Milos commits to performing in this porno snuff hybrid film, the film hurtles Milos and us as voyeuristic viewers into a wall to wall bombardment of brutality. Many of a Serbian film's gory visuals are certainly an antithesis to political correctness. Scenes portraying rape, assault, mutilation, humiliation, and a drugged protagonist who can no longer consent to the horrific actions he commits, as if to challenge the audience's own sense of sensitivity regarding scenes they would prefer not to see. Also contributing to the film's tone, depending on the viewer's perspective of a Serbian film's excessive violence, is a sense of exaggeration verging on parody. The violence in the Serbian film aims for an overstated impression, one that is not exactly realistic, like a fierce expression of gallows humour. From the overly aggressive facial expressions of Milos mid-murder fuck, to the film's traumatic haunting ending of a family suicide drenched in struggle to survive through rape. 
only to be undercut by a gruesome gag twist ending that implies the film production has not ended yet and is more than willing to go lower than low. A Serbian film aims to tinge a darkly offensive sense of humour to aspects of its imagery. Jeffrey McNabb, elaborating on the film's use of highly shocking visuals and its intention, wrote for The Independent stating that, much of the imagery in a Serbian film is indeed quite repellent. That though is not the same as saying that it is a repellent film. The filmmaking is stylized and self-conscious. There is a knowing irony. As in Michael Haneke's films, the director seems to be challenging the audience to question their own voyeuristic instincts. As in Peter Greenaway's The Baby of Macon, he is using extreme imagery for polemical purposes, similar to the violent fourth wall deteriorating gang rape in Greenaway's Baby of Macon, to Michael Haneke's Funny Games providing a self-referential commentary on violence and voyeurism, McNabb suggests that a Serbian film was more than its shock value, indicating a self-awareness. If the viewer experiences a Serbian film as a challenge of political correctness via gallows humour, and it is understandable if many viewers do not experience the film in this manner, then the viewers who find humour in a Serbian film may find it a self-aware example of extreme cinema. There is suggestion that a Serbian film is aware that it is grotesque and absurd, that it merges the extreme with campiness. However, while Serjan Spasoyev has clearly intended to express his frustrations with a Serbian film, a frustration that many viewers express while viewing this film. Valid criticisms arise with the extent that a Serbian film delves into violence. Peter Bradshaw, in his review of a Serbian film for The Guardian, even claimed that the film was poorly directed, possibly a comment on the director's intention being lost in the gluttony of gore. A competently shot film with competent performances verging on the excessively camp an argument can be made that due to the excessive gory spectacle on offer in a Serbian film, any semblance of commentary becomes lost in the flurry of aggression. The impact of shock is also lessened when films such as a Serbian film drop the audience in the deep end. By the end of the film, many viewers are likely to finish the film feeling rattled, but many other viewers are more likely to feel exhausted by the rapid fire barrage of brutality that the film provides. Viewers of a more sensitive disposition may find the cut film difficult viewing, maybe even unwatchable, and it most certainly can be, but audiences more familiar with extreme cinema are likely to find a Serbian film tiresome, reliant on grotesquery and offering very little else, when all potential commentary becomes lost in an act of upping the ante of blood. The director's artistic intention is apparent, and a Serbian film isn't necessarily technically a badly made film, but as the figure of speech goes, less is more. In conclusion, a Serbian film might just be the most controversial film of the 2010s. Simply put, it is an exploitation film aiming to push what is acceptable within horror cinema. While this violence is perceivable as gratuitous, Basojevic's suggestion of a Serbian film as a social criticism against political correctness and the celebrity status of Serbian politicians may offer an additional layer of meaning to the extreme film. Audiences are bound to find it difficult viewing, and some audiences may remain uncomfortable convinced at the director's suggestions of deeper meaning within the film, but others may find a gratification in the film's morbid sense of humour, and appreciate the director's intention to challenge what is deemed as acceptable in a sensitive world. One thing is undeniable, a Serbian film will remain controversial and contentious for as long as viewers disagree on its importance, questioning what is and isn't acceptable within cinema. And really, when it comes to answering this kind of question, the only type of films that can offer conclusive answers are films like a Serbian film, intending to challenge what is and isn't acceptable. In its own confrontational way, to acknowledge a Serbian film makes it essential enough.